Hey guys, EMP5 Reviews here. Today I've got episode six of my Medal of Honor story series. This one is about Sergeant First Class Stanley Adams and his actions in the Korean War. So some of his early life and service. Stanley Taylor Adams was born in DeSoto, Kansas on May 9th, 1922. He joined the United States Army from nearby Olath, Kansas in 1942. During World War II, he was wounded in action while fighting in North Africa and Italy. After World War II, he served in Japan as part of the Allied Ac Occupation Force. In July 1950, shortly after the onset of the Korean War, he was sent to South Korea as a Sergeant First Class with Company A of the 1st Battalion, 19th Infantry Regiment, 24th Division. In late January 1951, the 8th Army, of which Adams' unit was a part, launched a counteroffensive against Chinese Communist forces. Company A established a position south of Seoul near Sesimni on February 3rd, and Adams' platoon set up an outpost on a ridge 200 yards forward of the rest of his company. At about 11 o'clock that night, enemy troops assaulted and pushed back the companies to either side of Company A, leaving the unit surrounded on three separate sides. Two hours later, in the early morning of February 4th, Adams' forward platoon was attacked by around 250 Chinese soldiers. After 45 minutes under a tense machine gun and mortar fire, the platoon withdrew to the main company position. Seeing that the opposing force could only be routed by close quarters fighting, Adams led 13 of his men from his platoon in a bayonet charge against approximately 150 enemy soldiers. He continued to fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat for nearly an hour, despite being shot in the leg and knocked off his feet four times by grenades until the hostile force began to retreat. When orders came for his battalion to withdraw, he stayed behind to provide covering fire. Adams was subsequently promoted to Master Sergeant and awarded the Medal of Honor for his actions during the battle. The medal was formally presented to him by President Harry S. Truman in a July 5, 1951 ceremony at the White House. His Medal of Honor citation states, The President of the United States of America, in the name of Congress, takes pleasure in presenting the Medal of Honor to Master Sergeant, then Sergeant First Class, Stanley Taylor Adams, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty while serving with Company A, 1st Battalion, 19th Infantry Regiment, 24th Infantry Division, in action against enemy aggressor forces at Sesimni, Korea, on 4 February 1951. At approximately 0100 hours, Master Sergeant Adams' platoon, holding an outpost some 200 yards ahead of his company, came under a determined attack by an estimated 250 enemy troops. Intense small arms, machine gun, and mortar fire from three sides pressed the platoon back against the main line of resistance. Observing approximately 150 hostile troops silhouetted against the skyline advancing against his platoon, Master Sergeant Adams leaped to his feet, urged his men to fix bayonets, and he, with 13 members of his platoon, charged this hostile force with indomitable courage. Within 50 yards of the enemy, Master Sergeant Adams was knocked to the ground when pierced in the leg by an enemy bullet. He jumped to his feet and, ignoring his wound, continued on to close with the enemy when he was knocked down four times from the concussion of grenades, which had bounced off his body. Shouting orders, he charged the enemy positions and engaged them in hand-to-hand -hand combat, where man after man fell before his terrific onslaught with bayonet and rifle butt. After nearly an hour of vicious action, Master Sergeant Adams and his comrades routed the fanatical foe, killing over 50 and forcing the remainder to withdraw. Upon receiving orders that his battalion was moving back, he provided cover fire while his men withdrew. Master Sergeant Adams' superb leadership, incredible courage, and consummate devotion to duty so inspired his comrades that the enemy attack was completely thwarted, saving his battalion from possible disaster. His sustained personal bravery and indomitable fighting spirit against overwhelming odds reflect the utmost glory upon himself and uphold the finest traditions of the infantry and the military service. In his post-war life, Adams was commissioned as a second lieutenant. He retired eventually in 1970 as lieutenant colonel. He married Wava J. Ware Adams, and they had a son, Gary. The marriage ended in divorce. He later married Penny DeGraff, and they had a daughter, Joy. In 1981, he married his third wife, Jean Elizabeth Vanderstope Adams, and was with her until his death. As a civilian, Adams lived in Alaska and worked there as an administrator for the Internal Revenue Service. He later moved to Bend, Oregon, and after being diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, lived at the Oregon Veterans Home. He died in the Veterans Home on April 19, 1999, at the age of 76, and is buried at Willamette National Cemetery in Clackamas County. Adams' widow Jean donated his Medal of Honor to the Oregon Veterans Home, where it is displayed in the entryway. Upon her death in 2008, she left a substantial contribution of funds and memorabilia to the home, a multi-purpose building to be named the Stan and Jean Adams Veterans Community Center. Adams also had a gate named after him in Camp Humphrey, South Korea, in 2020. 
His grave site and graves marker says as such. Stanley Taylor Adams, Medal of Honor, Lieutenant Colonel, U.S. Army, World War II, Korea, Vietnam. Born May 9th, 1922, died April 19th, 1999, a dedicated American hero. If you like this video, please give it a like and a share. If you are so inclined, please also subscribe to the channel, and I will continue to release Medal of Honor story episodes. At this point, that is it, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.